Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Banner Lord Let's Play. Now then, when last we left off, we had completed a few more missions, a few more battles, etc., etc. We are really, really trying to get um, to uh, done with the mission to rebuild our clan. So, in this episode, we'll do exactly as we said in the previous one, and slowly start moving towards the... Uh, Empire down, and uh, I do believe that we will have to go uh, into the Asarai lands later on. Now, Lagita seemed to have been um, an Empire city, considering the units that we were able to... Oh my god, look at those looters. We could actually get to the 50 uh, renown we need just from fighting one or, or both of these groups, sure. Uh, which ones do we go for? We'll just go for these guys, sure. And yes, this is worth it. This is definitely worth it. There we go. Caught him. Uh, it's kind of annoying that we're going to be fighting in during the night, but hey. What can you do? Perhaps we'll fight the other group during the day. Uh, let me see. Can we actually get any sort of... I don't know. Archers! Elevation? Forward! Infantry, move! I guess this is sort of a archers kill over forward. Put me move, move forward. Oh, follow me, charge, advance, fall back, stop, retreat. Forward. Okay. Uh, line. Oh, I forward can tell shield him. wall. Not much of a shield wall, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can actually get a few shots off, even though our archers are not. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, come on. There's another one. That's a headshot. Oh, come on, I'm trying to kill the guy that I've been hurting. I delivered damage to somebody. I'm trying to hit. Ah, I missed him. Uh, right, everybody. Attack. Yeah. Kinda forgot to order that. Don't be happy yet, let's kill the the other two. Deal. Damn it, how do I miss? I'm literally trotting behind him and I miss somehow. Bang. And bang. There we go. I think he got it in his spleen. Whew. That hurts. Alrighty. Uh, one of our guys is wounded, but that's fine. That's fine. As long as it's just wounded, it's fine. 1.6. Did we actually reach 50 just with that? We might have. We might have. Because I think we were only missing one more point. And we do have seven prisoners that we can, of course, um, ransom. Train Imperial Archer. Yes, yes, yes. Imperial Recruit into Imperial... Let's do uh, one more Imperial Infantryman, I believe. Uh, because the Imperial Trained Infantrymen, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. We do have 1,300 right now. We'll have more as soon as we manage to sell all of our stuff, which we didn't sell while in um, the previous town. Uh, let's just wait. Have we reached the 50? We've reached the 50 renown. All right, but I still want to attack these guys. I just want to do it just to get more gold. Uh, come on, come on! You can see them. There's so many looters up here. What the? Nah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We reached the 50 renown. We were supposed to. Um, let's just go and sell what we have. Trade this, 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 this. Okay, so shift and click sells five of the units of whatever you have selected. Uh, spiked mace, you know what? Corena, what about this? What if I give you, instead of the spatha, a mace? Doesn't doesn't compare. All right. What about with you? You don't really have much uh, in the way of weaponry, huh? Oh, blacksmith. Man, I'm just gonna give you a mace. There. All right, and we'll sell the rest. Uh, tick, tick. Like that. We're gonna keep the rest. Okay, so I was just going through all the different types of shields, and I think we're just gonna take, like, a Northern Cavalry Kite Shield. It has plenty of hit points, uh, it's large enough, 
Uh, and it's still, you know, relatively cheap. Um, and I really do believe that we do need a shield instead of a... Uh, instead of, like, a hat, the hatchet. Uh, we definitely don't have the money to actually get any of the more expensive stuff, but for that we do. And I'm gonna sell you the hatchet and get some more additional gold. Excellent. Excellent. Can I also go to the tavern and simply ransom all of our prisoners? Yes, I can. Lovely. What's up with the party? Uh, I guess some of the looters were willing to uh, join us. Oh, our troops are now 49! Clan tier bonus! Plus 25, base size 20. Alright, so we can actually have a larger army now. Which I'm not really interested in having, because um, it'll just slow us down even further, and our daily wages will definitely go way, way, way too far. So let's not do that just yet, but it's definitely awesome that we were able to do that. So let me just check the clan. How much do we need? Uh, next year, it's 150 right now. All right, additional clan party plus one, additional com companion limit plus one. Oh, we can now have another companion as well. Awesome! This is so good. I love this system. I really, really love it. Like, the more renown you have... They changed it from... Uh, for those of you that don't know, in uh, the usual Warband, you got an additional unit per, I believe... Um, was it 20 or 25 renown or something like that? One additional unit per 25 renown, I believe it was, in the vanilla. And uh, you gain renown from doing everything you're doing here, basically. Doing battles, doing... Um, uh, do it, or those, those are also looters, okay. Doing battles, doing, uh, tournaments. Tournaments were really the best way of getting more renown. Uh, and once it got used to them, they were pretty easy to win. Um, and the more renown you had, the more units you had. But I actually prefer this system. Essentially, you have a clan, you have to level up your clan in order to have more units. I love it, I love it. Uh, while we're on our way down south, might as well try and fight a few more looters, right? We're kind of on our way south? Oh, did we ca- Oh, we caught him! We caught him, okay. Wasn't really paying attention anymore. Uh, attack! There are ten of them. Might get some prisoners, might get some goodies. Ah, uh, they really do have to increase the Open! amount of battlefields, though. Move! What the Move! Kinda feels like there's not that much... FORWARD! Uh... Difference in them. And I... I'm pretty sure, uh... Like, I'm 99% sure that this is the exact same battlefield that we fought in the last battle as well. Because our archers are... Doing stuff. Oh, I actually hit that! Oh, come on! Ah, oh, I thought that was gonna hit as well. Darn! That was a good hit. And the same guy as well, which meant that he died. BAM! Headshot. Okay, we're getting somewhat better in the, uh, at this. Uh, oh, come on. Thought I got him. Uh, I'd rather had him. Turn around. No. Oh, he's dead. All right. Are they all dead? They are. Or rather, two of them are still alive, but <laughs> we're gonna be taking those. Plus one renown. Good, good, good. Uh, two looters. Excellent. Done. And I'll take everything you got. Done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Off to Lagata we go. Yeah. I was like, wait, is he actually gonna try and go through there? Because I'm pretty sure we couldn't last time. Opa! No, nah, they're gonna run in the opposite direction. Let's just not, because they're gonna lead us way, way further. Come on, let's move. Lagata. Let's go. Mountain bandits. Oh, that's... that's burning. Definitely a war zone over here. I think... Uh, Fenoria the Anvil might have a mission for us. But I'm honestly just here to head to the tavern, ransom our guy, and see what sort of a game is over here. Please tell me it's what I think it is. It is... Oh, I love this. I love this. Okay. I'll say difficulty hard and the amount of betting 500. That looks good. Let's do it. Very well. I'll be the defender. 
There we go. And out we go. Excellent. Uh, Angus Murray has gained... Wait a minute. We've rebuilt our clan, and we've also gained an additional 25 renown for rebuilding our clan. It's pretty good, so we got money, and apparently we mi uh, we finished our mission. Alright, so what's the next step? Let's get out of here. Uh, back to town center. Let's trade. Let's give you everything we got from the bandits. Are we good with food and everything? I think we are. Yeah, yeah I think we are. Um, do we want any more mules or anything? Nah, I think we have enough space and everything done. Uh, character. What's up with the character? C. Let's see. Uh, aha! We have one more focus point. And writing it has also been upgraded. Lovely. So we can choose one of these. So your quivers will have plus three arrows when you enter a battle. Uh, enter battle on horseback. Or your throwing weapons still have plus one. No, 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 no. Or quill. Quivers. You need three additional shots. Heck yeah. Alright, uh, so we did say that we need to increase our intelligence a little bit and uh, increase party size. Yeah, 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 yeah. Party morale from food variety and focus on our stewardship a little bit so that we can have more food variety. Uh, influence of ruler, personal plus 30% from farms. As vassal. There we go. Alright, uh, we will focus on that. I believe that's it. Anybody else have anything that they need upgraded? I do not think so. We'll be clicking done, and that should be it. And we'll also be checking what our next mission is. Wait. Uh, rebuild your clan. Yeah, we did all that. You have successfully rebuilt your clan. Yeah, but okay, but what's next? Colradia is full of... I better told you that there are many ways to go about this for gold coin. Trade would be one means to the, to descend. Fighting and selling off captured bandits in town another. Whatever your you whatever path you choose to pursue, traveling alone would make you easy pickings from whoever come across your trail. Uh, naturally, you may also find however these tend to favor more established clans. Okay, but what's the next mission though? Like, was the whole point of just... Because Neeson's not here. Sure, we increased our renown. Sure, we have a better clan and everything, but... Do we really not get to... Get another mission? Alright, so I was just checking a few things right now, and apparently... I guess we have to investigate Neretis' folly in order to get anywhere, um, in order to get the next step of our main quest line. And something I also checked was how do you get enterprises? And it would seem that if you actually take a walk around the town center and you talk with uh, workers, you are supposed to get the offer to possibly um, buy their shop or something of the sort. So let's actually see if that is indeed a possibility. I'm sure we don't have the money for it yet, I'm just curious if that's a possibility. And if yes, how much it would cost. Uh, would have liked it if we actually had kept our horse, would probably make things much, much faster over here. Okay, so you have a f uh, farmstead, I guess? Is there an owner of this farmstead? Also, this is supposed to be the city center. <laughs> uh, nobody's here. There are people over there. Perhaps if we talk to them. Let's see. I mean, they're working with imaginary things. Horse trader. Horse trader, horse trader. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. Oh, is that it? We just get to... Wait, do we not have a harness? We should. Rugged Highland Saddle. These are much better, but I really don't want to be spending any money right now. Okay, good day to you as well. Uh, I was just passing by... So no matter which one we talk to, they just offer us that if we would like to sell anything, or rather to buy anything. There are multiple people here, but none of them offer us to buy this place. 
Uh, all right. Perhaps inside? Get it. Looter. Batanian veteran skirmisher. <laughs> there, there, there seems to be a slight difference between you two. Why is there a looter actually on guard here? Okay, let's see. Townsman. T -t -t Townsman, or what are you? You are a townsman, but... Perdigarius says Imperials have been raiding across the border. People around here better wake up. I'm looking for someone. No thank you. Good day to you. That's not something... That was not helpful. Are you guys mercenaries, or just soldiers, or... Seem to be soldiers. I'm really confused, because uh, everything I read was essentially saying that, yeah, you just take a walk around the streets, you talk with people that seem to be, like, uh, artisans or working, uh, working folk, and they might tell you that their place is on sale or something, and you can get uh, an enterprise going that away. Because I really would like our clan to start making some income. Like, I don't know, can I... Yeah, I thought so. It was just him offering us if he would like to buy something. Armor is probably the exact same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, trader? What, you're just a general trader, or...? Yeah, food and stuff. Alright. So, cancel that. No need for that. And that's it. There's nobody else here. Doesn't look like it, at least. Hello, are you a simple towns townsman again? Just a simple townsman. Oh, I'm looking for someone. Nah, just good day to you. The cities are large, so I have no idea if we're actually gonna manage to do this. Townsman. Those guys are. <laughs> oh, artisan! Velios the Dyer. May I ask your name? I wish to form a caravan. I wish I have a quick question. I would is never mind. Apparently I can't even ask if I can. Uh no thank you. Wait. You're an artisan notary. So we can have a caravan, but we can't buy their enterprises yet. I have a feeling we're heading out of the city boundaries right now. Or rather, the city center's boundary, so let's head back in there. Wait, what is going on over here? There are a bunch of thugs. Oh, just passing through what goes on here. Now then, if you're asking we look after the honest folk here, make sure no one smashes up their shops. And if they want to give us a coin or two as a way of saying thanks, who, well, who'd mind, who'd mind? Also, suppose someone wanted to buy some goods and didn't want to pay the custom tax. We might be able to get that person out. Help that person out. Also, we help out those who are down on their luck. Give them a purse of silver to tie them by, with a bit of speculative interest, naturally. And by the way, we take orders from Poison Gala and no one else. No, get lost. So, it's probably gonna be the same, just having a look, do you mind? This is how it goes, friend. This is our turf, we answer to Poison Gala. And she's like the queen here, so if you haven't got a reason to be here, clear out. Uh, let's just leave. I doubt we can actually take on all of these thugs. We might try, but pretty... Oh, I mean, I have... Wait, I have a hatchet? That's... that's... no, 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 no. That's not what I would want to fight these guys with. Empire Townswoman, Townsman, Townsman, Dancer. Uh, Arian the Potter, a hard master to look for. Uh, nope. Child. Empire Townsperson, Townsman. Townsperson, he says. Townsman. What about you? A normal Townsman as well? Teenager. You do not look like a teenager, but sure. Mm, no, thank you. Wait, I'm looking for someone. What does that do? 
Nope. Not useful. I don't know, I guess this place just doesn't have any anything up for sale or something. Can't tell. Ironmonger. I don't know, maybe if I talk with you? Just talk with the talk with the notables perhaps? Alright. Uh I am that and that. Wish to form a caravan. Have a quick question. I what is it? I can't even ask him like Oh we definitely don't have that sort of money. Okay, never mind. I guess we just can't. Either either that or uh, I don't know. We talk with the Ironmonger. Velos the Dyer, we met him. What about the potter? Is he gonna give us the exact same offer as well? Just do a caravan or just get lost? It's been a while, indeed. No, the same thing. I can just form a caravan and that's it. That's not what I want to do, though. Wait, 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 let's talk again, let's talk again, let's talk again. There was somebody behind them that looked like a possible artisan. Angus, indeed. All right, I must leave now. Let me see. Corena. Door. Townsman. Trader. Just a normal trader? Ah! Damn. So, uh, I was right, it was somebody that we could interact with, but not in this, uh, the way that I wanted to. Nah, we've already gone through all of this. Uh, is there something over there? Yonder? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's just leave. I oh, know, I really, really, really want to find a way to create an uh, uh, enterprise. I want money. Money is good. Money, I mean... <laughs> it is the spawn of all evil, but... Uh, or rather, not the spawn, but... Uh, origin of evil, as they say. Saluk has been taken prisoner by the... Oh no, Saluk, whoever that was. <laughs> I just like, if we click clan, we have the finances right here. I would love to have some income. But I don't know how to get it, other than literally just continuing to fight all of the, uh, all of the looters, bandits, uh, doing the gambling, and stuff. Oh, pop, 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 pop. That's a lord. Uh, may I ask your name? There we go. Yeah, what can you tell me about that? I'm a busy man. There is always time to talk about the Blessed Battle of Pandrek. Our dear and beloved King Errol, a wonderful man, but with a heart perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war. But then he disappeared, and I, his son-in-law, ascended to the kingship. The clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them to average. I, father to my people, gave them what they wanted. Now the Empire uses tricks and traps in war. No battalion fears to meet an Imperial soldier man to man, but we thought it would be a good laugh to use their tricks against them. So we laid an ambush on both sides of a wooded pass, and wouldn't you know, they marched right into it. <laughs> this is sounded like Tudorburg Forest. It really is. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained up down upon them, like fish going frantic in a pond as you draw the net tighter. Then, when they were greatly discomforted... <laughs> discomforted, not discomforted, what? <laughs> we took up our foxes and swords and repeat the har reaped the harvest. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the surgeons about the spoils of war, but with a grand old day it was. Thank you. Alright, well... We do have to talk to a couple more people like this. Our quest was updated. Yes, indeed. We talked to three people so far. You would think there would be more nobles around here to talk to. Bam. Uh, Germanus the Tanner. Do we try and walk around town here as well just to see what happens? Pew! We go out and earn some money. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, Alkila the Wronged. Hello. You seem to be a possible companion. Uh, my name is Angus. Tell me about yourself. I'll tell you my story. If it bothers you, I'd prefer you keep it to yourself. Unless you've lived months on crust of bread and chaff of grain, that is. 
My father was a merchant of Lycron. We lived in a rich house with many servants. I wanted for nothing. Our neighbor was a moneylender who specialized in loan to the Imperial Guard. That turned out to be a bad neighborhood in which we live. When the riots came, the guardsmen came to burn our neighbor's house so their debts could be for would be forgotten. And the flames spread to our house and what was destroyed. My father tried to save his strong box, and that was his undoing. A riot is a holiday for thieves and robbers, and some saw him digging, dragging it through the streets, so they knifed him and took it. We tried to sh find shelter with my uncle, but there was no food in the city, and he turned us out. So we joined the refugees in the country, living on what we could steal from the fields. I found a guardsman alone and drunk. I have no idea whether he was one of the ones that set fire to our neighborhood. Maybe I should have done to him what I did what I did to him. Maybe I should not have done to him what I did to him. But now I have his sword. It's been very useful. Good God, my voice just kept <laughs> cracking as I was doing that. Uh, the starving do what they must. I think my story shows that I am an ad I am adaptable, at least. If there was room for me in a world's retinue, say, I imagine I could quickly learn whatever skills were needed. Right down between jobs, so if you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. You know what? Let's take her. Let's take her. We're actually making some money, and I am starting to think that literally all of these guys are uh, just generic. Didn't mean. Wait, didn't I? Didn't even realize. Wait, when did, when did Batania take Corticia? This this has not been here for long, has it? Huh. All right, yeah. But as I was saying, because all of them, all of them seem to just have generic skills. Nothing special. Literally nothing special. Just rogue, roguery, and charm, and everything else. That's it. Meanwhile, we're trying to learn everything. <laughs> so, I'm guessing we should make one of them, uh, like, this one into maybe a medical person? She's level 13. All of them, except for Corena, both of them, sorry, except for Corena, are level 13. They're probably still going to be leveling up and everything, so we might as well try and make them into medicine. Or rather, uh, you have zero intelligence. You all have zero intelligence. Good God. We definitely need to find better companions, that's for sure. Um, We head for Jalmaris. Seriously, I have no idea when Orticia became part of the Batanian Kingdom. How quick are we? 5.1. This is the town, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Krotorp plus 9 recruits. Uh, we're just trying to find some uh, uh, nobles right now while going into taverns and doing our stuff, of course. And out we go! There we go. Alrighty. More money and I do... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even realize that there was <laughs> a conversation to be had with them. I always just did it automatically. Didn't mean to even talk to you. Sorry about that. Uh, there was... There's apparently somebody that we might be able to recruit in this place, though. Just not sure where. Let's just head out of here and uh, talk to him via the menu. Mikri the Lucky. He is in the tavern, but we just couldn't find him. Though, uh... Peace be with you, stranger. Indeed. My father was one of the leading warriors of our clan, but in his last battle his hamstrung was cut. We've lived well off the wealth he brought home from his raids, buying land and thralls, but now I feel it's time that I bring home some silver of my own. I need to buy a ship and hire men to row it, but I do not do not wish to sell our land to outfit a risky voyage to risk depriving my father and mother of their comforts in old age, and my brothers of their hopes for a good marriage. So I have resolved to hire out my sword, a sword and make enough money for such a ship. Having done so, I shall take it to faraway shores and bring home silver and slaves so that we may buy more or buy land enough for all. In this way, I will do my duty to my family. Your most dutiful brother. At any rate, if you know of a leader of a war band who's generous and honorable, I'll find no braver he'll find no braver warrior uh, to follow him than me. I'll make you be able to use you. You're actually pretty cheap. 
can you pay? Yes, I can. Question is, do we want to? I kind of want to keep one... Um... One... Room open, is what I realized just as I started talking with him. I actually would prefer to keep one room open, just in order to... Like, if we happen to find somebody that was really, really, really good... Um... I don't know, I think I spotted in a video I saw that there was somebody called the Medic, or something like that. So if we manage to uh, score a medical uh, companion, that would be awesome. And if we manage to score some more fights with looters, that'll also be very good. Meanwhile, we are looking for more nobles. They're very scarce, aren't they? There aren't that many nobles going around. No nope, looters, looters. Nope. No nobles. Alright, surrender or die, brigand. Let's go. I like your tattoos. Uh, this is a very poor position. Archer, move! Infantry, forward! Move! Let's get you guys onto higher ground, like that. Okay, let's see if we can actually help our guys a little bit. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, hit and kill. That's a hit. One more. And that's a death. Okay, I think I'm actually getting used to uh, uh, archery a bit more. That's another death. Come on. Oh, that was a miss. Bam! Headshot. Is that it? That's it. Alright, we're definitely getting better at archery. At least if we, as long as we uh, stay in place, at least. <laughs> uh, 1.4 and 4 prisoners. Lovely. Done. What do you got for me? Everything. Everything. Lovely. Um, Do we go to Zeonica or Poros? Let's go to Zeonica first. Uh, character. Am I ready to upgrade something? Oh, bow! Alright, let's see. Hold aim for 15% longer or increase readying speed by 10%. I think that one. Definitely that one. Uh, how's the stewardship going? It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Definitely one more focus on this, though. No focus to be gained, however. Uh, what about you guys? Anything? Nothing. Fine. Off to Zionica we go. Uh, plenty of missions, actually. Plenty of missions. Huh, you need to pay a bribe in order to get into the keep. Yeah, interesting. I wonder, is the keep where you're supposed to get, like, an enterprise? I'm pretty sure you have to go into the town center, not the keep. You know what, I'm gonna do one more search. This time we're in an actual empire town. Oh my god! I know! I've been walking around the town for 45 minutes. I'm an idiot! I'm a complete and total idiot! Just click Alt and find... Like a... A place, a building that you wanna buy and you can actually buy it. Like, there's a clearing over there, alright. There's a wood workshop over there. There's a silversmith, there's a wine press, waterfront, Black Street, Back Street, like you can buy locations. I was so unaware of this, I am so sorry, I am so sorry. People were probably yelling into their sc screens, why can't this guy find anything? Yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. Wait, I'm in the back street, but these are thugs, how do I... You're a thug notary? Uh, just having a look, do you mind? So what goes on here? No get lost, he says. Okay, so I guess this is not one of the locations we can get. But for instance, if we wanted to perhaps buy the wine press. Let's try and get into the wine press. Uh... Okay, but how do I... I guess there's gotta be a work around here. Shop worker. There we go. 
Uh, greetings, how can I help you? I would like to buy this workshop. <laughs> it would cost you 14000 Are you going to buy it? No. <laughs> Your call. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Alright, so we finally found a way to buy an Enterprise. Good God, it, it only took me forever. <laughs> but I also read that it is a very, 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 very good idea to check out the surrounding villages. Like, Zeonica, if we check, let me see, settlements. And we say we are interested in a town. Good God, there are a lot of them. Zeonica. Alright, so villages are Neochorus, Alsas, Alsasos, and Zeochorus. So if we click here, uh, what does it say? Base, retired, food from hearts, uh, hearth. Wait, okay, so Zeo, Neo, and Als, these three. Okay, so let's see. Can we check faction, primary production, grain, alright? Primary production, Midlands, Palfrey. Primary production, grain. Okay, so let's check what can we make out of grain. Kingdoms, clans, concepts. Uh, concepts, I guess? Uh, party food, party skills, trade goods. Trade goods. No. Okay, so we could make... Because the thing is, the uh, villages around, of course, produce the uh, raw resources. What do you do? Grapes. Tarkutis. I'm just wondering, who, what does Tarkutis belong under? Tarkutis. Owner, okay, uh, sits on the river just upstream of the juncture of Zeos. The alluvial plains of this region have long been a breadbasket for the uh, Empire. Bound to settlement Onika Castle. Ah, oh, okay, 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 got it, got it. Uh, so if we wanted to, like, what can we make out of grain? Uh, probably not wine. <laughs> That's a one, uh, we would need grapes for that, but I'm not sure if, uh, if these would actually make for a proper, like, if we could get grapes from Tarkutis or only uh, from the surrounding areas over here. Now, we could, of course, also go in here, take a walk around the center, and probably buy the clearing and build something uh, with that. What could we make out of a grain? Like a mill, perhaps a mill for some flour or some bread. Haven't really seen any bread in, um... Uh, to be able to trade. So let's see. Uh, silversmith, there's a clearing over there. Wine press, waterfront, back street, tavern, Lord's Hall, wood workshop. We yeah, but that's not what we want. Let's go and check out the clearing. What could we like? How much would a clearing cost us? And what can we do with it? Also, what is Poximina? I guess it's a person, probably. God, I completely forgot if we can just click alt and... Oh, I feel so stupid for not doing this previously. Wait, no, why are there thugs in the clearing? Am I gonna have to get rid of these guys? Thug, 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 thug. Do you actually have to clear the thugs out of the clearing before you can buy it? Can you even buy it? Or can you only buy a building? Uh, thug. Just having a look around. This is our turf. We answer to Iron Skull Fadon. And he's like the king here. So if you haven't got a good reason to be here, clear out. I'm not sure if you actually have to fight these guys, get rid of all of them in order to buy the clearing. If it even is possible to buy the clearing. But I read that you can apparently also place your own, um... Like your own businesses, you don't just have to. You don't just necessarily buy uh, existing ones. You can make your own as well. Well, we definitely don't have the money for that yet, but I just wanted to make sure if that is indeed the case. Uh, at any rate, we've done everything we can in Zeonica, so let's head to Poros. Uh, try and see if there's a noble or something uh, about to talk to them further. What is it with my party? Uh, oh, one looter would be willing to join us. Nah. Nah, we're not taking looters. 
Uh, what we are doing is ransoming them. Yes. At any rate, guys, I do believe... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have no idea how much uh, footage there's gonna be in the actual episode since I did do a lot of searching around and everything. Uh, but I will be making a cut right here. So thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, if you enjoy what I do, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. You know how it goes. Share these videos around and I will see you next time. And until then, as always... Ad gloriam.